this window. This window is cracked really badly, and I did get one spare from Stan. So we're going to take this window apart after we get it out to rebuild it, and then we'll rotate it through all the other broken windows. So to get a silver side window out, first you need to free up these rollers. This is your emergency exit for passengers. So these little rollers are supposed to pop up when you push the top of the window out. But they're quite often seized from sitting, so I've just looped them up. And I'm trying to work them free so I can pop out the window. This one's really stuck. But you're supposed to be able to push the top of the window out. I can't remember how much force it is, but it's supposed to be only like five or ten pounds of force, and that's an, an, an emergency feature. So I just got to get these little. Oh, there. See, that one's working. Another one. There we go. Okay. Oh, and this one actually latches still. So I might have to actually go on the inside to pop this. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Okay. Okay, um, there's a little thing in the center here. If I go grab a hook tool, maybe I can just pull the top of the window out. Back in. After the window pivots down, there's a little spring-loaded clip up here. And you need to release that little clip and then the window just slides forward. actually up and I just popped it back into the hole so that should actually be there we go and pass me the camera and I'll show the actual little clip so this little clip right here I've got it lifted up right now out of the hole but it actually pops down into the hole to lock it to lock it in place and you can see it's starting to separate. You need to learn the pause feature. And that's how easy silver side windows come out. So now we get the whole window out. I can go working on it on the bench. And I'm going to put my replacement one in. And then we have one good window that we can rotate through once we're done building it. And you, actually, you can see some of the different gaskets here. This is not a proper gasket. This is just something someone's put on. But there's lots of different gaskets. That Like there's gaskets in here, there's gaskets here, there's gasket here. There, there's all kinds of different gaskets that you need to rebuild these window frames. And if you do it properly, you need all those gaskets. But we're going to reproduce those. This one is missing its locking cap. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we won't lock that one on. We'll just close it for now. Huh. And that one's in. One less broken window on the bus. Okay, folks, so I got this whole window apart. What I'm about to give you is a tutorial of how to take apart a silver side slider. Um, it took me a little bit to get it figured out myself the first time. 
I took out a few more screws than I needed to, but this is essentially a multi-framed window that comes apart in sections. So uh, you need to take out these two screws here, but not the outer two. This outer two is actually a plate. You'll see in a second. Actually, I'm going to screw these two back in before I lose them. Just run. These screws are so tight. Um, you probably want to use a mini ratchet with a bit as opposed to trying to do a screwdriver. I just used the screwdriver to spin them out after I got them loose. And the problem is, is the screws are stainless. They're stainless machine screws with a slot head going into an aluminum frame. So you can imagine what kind of shape they're in after 70 years. So I'm just going to snug these ones back up because they didn't actually need to come out, but I didn't know that. Okay, so take these two screws out here. Then you're going to take out these four screws at this end. Now... They are different length screws, so don't try to put them on the wrong places. After you get that apart, those four screws, you can actually lift the outer frame out and it slides towards that end slightly. So there's actually some recesses in here that these slide into. So there's a felt seal here that goes between the frames that, as you can see, there's almost nothing left of it. So that frame can now be cleaned up. We can replace the outer seal. And put that aside for now. Okay, now we get to the inner frame. So I taped this window up because this window's all cracked and broken and I wanna get it out one piece to use it as a template. So, um, you do not need to remove these four screws here. I did and then realized afterwards that I didn't actually need to. So those can stay put. These two screws here, they hold the fixed window in place. So after you take those out, you can slide this fixed window in. Now I've actually already taken the latch off for this one here. Um, my latch is good, but I've taken it off because I'm going to use this window on the opposite side of the bus for now because this pane is still good. So undo your two center screws. Again, different lengths than the outers. And then this will slide, that's not supposed to come apart yet, this will slide down towards this direction. Okay, so once you have the fixed slider down there, what you will see is on the inside here, you'll see a bar that goes across with four screws. You don't have to take all four, only have to take out two. Once you take out those two screws, you can gently spread the window frame And remove the panes. So that is one piece. We'll put it aside for now. Slide this one down. And that is the other piece. So there you have it. That's mostly a part. Now, as you can see, you look down in there, you can see those two screws I removed, those two I did not. So that bar just holds that together. Now, some other things to note, there's a clip top and bottom here that holds this gasket in place and it's also a stop for the slides. So there's another gasket that needs to be replaced. Okay, so as well, there's another gasket in here that needs to be replaced. So let's put that piece aside for now. Let's go back to our broken piece. We're not going to take this one apart because it's, it's, it's all intact and I'm going to reuse this for now. However, I do need a piece of glass to use as a template to get to a glass shop to get cut. So, in the ends here are two more screws. Remove those screws. Then this bar here slides out the end. I haven't done that yet. And then the whole glass should slide out of the frame. So. I'm gonna pause the video for a sec. I'm gonna get this piece of glass out and I'm gonna show you that.
Okay, so this is actually coming apart a lot easier than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to require some finessing. Literally, all I did was take a little pry bar and just gently tap at the dead blow like that. Literally that easy after those two screws are out. So we take the bottom bar off. It looks to be ambidextrous, so I don't think I need to pay attention to which way it goes. Okay. And then, again, another window gasket. And we should be able to slide. I'm actually going to get a pair of gloves because this is, might be sharp and I don't want to cut myself. Should be able to slide this. Oh, look at that. I just gently pull away on the outer extrusions because it's aluminum, it'll flex. I put gloves on just in case, but it doesn't look like I needed to. I can take the gloves off just because I'm having a hard time handling it. So. just the window and really old gasket so now what I can do is I can take this to the glass shop I think I'm just gonna leave it in the rubber gasket and take it to them in one piece like this because that'll be less chance of me damaging to get it there so I can put this back together for now so I don't lose any pieces And it appears these window halves are the same, which is what I expected. So I'm going to go ahead and get about, I don't know, 10 of those cut. I'm going to get enough to redo one entire side of my bus for now. And I'm going to have used glass on one side for now, uh, used not cracked glass. And then I'm going to have new glass all down one side. The glass is um, pretty much impossible to match the color of the green so i figure if i put all new glass on one side and then replace windows with good used ones down the other side eventually i'll get the whole bus done so there you have it folks um server side windows front gopro batteries not that long ago why are they all dead 